Hello everybody, this is Scotty here again, and I have a follow-up to my dolphin emulator video I made probably like two years ago, something like that. Well, dolphin emulator has gone through a lot of changes in the past two years. The last time I uploaded it was version 4.0, and now it's 5.0. So in other words, it's a lot better now. And as you can see right here in this little load order, I have The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker roughly what 1.36 gigs it might be a little bit more might be a little bit less but that's what it says so we'll go from there um as i said in my other video way back when each game has its own preference and being set up so in other words like the way you set up your graphics and stuff like each game has its own little thing and that's one thing you have to check on and one way to do that is to go to this website or basically Wikipedia except for Dolphin Emulator. As you can see you can get 16 by 9 aspect ratio fix, HD texture pack, removing distance blur, just all this stuff. And you know each game's different so ones could there's could be some that be harder than others. Like this one if you can see it right here the compatibility it's a 4 out of 5 so it is playable. There are some you know, there might be some minor issues, but anyways, I'm going to show you the settings that I'm using for this particular game, and then I'll show gameplay afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and click on graphics, and I'm using OpenGL. It's just the easiest thing to use. Um, I'm using a 1080p, oh, excuse me, I can't talk for some reason. I'm using a 1080p display, so naturally my resolution for full screen will be 1080p. The aspect ratio I stretch to window, I don't force 16 by 9 because there's still like these little black bars that you get on the left and right side. So it's not true full screen when you do that gecko hack that I showed you. Um, yeah, so we go to enhancements and then this is my internal resolution. I just, you know, 1080p. The anti-aliasing, if you go... I just leave it on 4, just, you know, that way I get the best frames per second. You can go higher if you want. There's no point, really. Anastropic filtering. Um, I mean, if you read in the description below, you can see it, it can, might cause issues in a small number of games, so just keep that in mind. You can also do a post-processing effect, kind of like an ENB, like if you play Skyrim on PC and you mod it. Same thing with uh, Oblivion and Fallout 4. That's what this thing kind of does. It has all sorts of options. I just leave it on off just to get the most authentic experience. And then hacks. I check off this. And then I also um, leave it on safe. I, this is technically mostly used for, um, I would say, one of the games would be Super Mario Sunshine. But I've left it off for Zelda, and it hasn't done anything. It doesn't say, oh, you can't do that or not, so... I mean, I looked in the Wikipedia, and it didn't say you could or could not do it, so... I just leave it as it is. And for the accuracy for texture cache, I leave it on safe. Just because, you know, it's safe. But it says, if left unsure, you can leave it at the most rightmost value, so... You can leave it on fast as well. It doesn't matter. And you can just leave this all, all this stuff here. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to click show FPS. That way when I record gameplay, which you will see in literally like 30 seconds, uh, you can see how many frames per second I'm getting. You can't really get 60 frames per second, but the game is still playable nevertheless. Anyways, without further ado, I will show you some gameplay. All right, here we go. You can see the frames per second in the top left hand corner. I'm using a GTX 980 Ti, by the way. I'm at the beginning of the game too, just to kinda get a feel for it. As you can see, it just stays at a constant 30 frames per second. 
Even though it doesn't really feel like it, it kind of feel, feels pretty smooth for being 30 frames. I thought if you captured him, he would give you a reward or something. I haven't played this game for the longest time, so... Yeah. That's how, that shows you how much I know about this game. Take a good look at the water. I think that should be good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys like my other videos as well. And I will see you guys later.